Shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Bay. This is Cooter. Today we're going to take a look at a minimalist wallet by Travex. We're going to take a look at the Travex Axis. Okay, this is a minimalist wallet. Okay, it's going to come basically in a manila envelope and a little sandwich bag or a little Ziploc baggie. We're going to get this little instruction card for how to make the adjustments on the straps. And this little Travax card thing. I'm gonna put that to the side. Here it is. Now I've been rocking this for about a week. And I gotta tell you, this is a pretty cool wallet. Um it's a little it's a little pricey for what you get, but I like it. I think it's kind of worth it to me. The retail on this is $56.49 on Amazon. And I'm just gonna compare this to some of the wallets that I typically carry. A couple of my daily carries. Um, this is a standard type of wallet that a lot of men, I'm not going to say all or most, but a lot of men carry. Um, you won't really see too many younger guys carry this type of wallet, but this is a very popular style. This is a bifold wallet. This one is actually a trifold. So you got your card window here, a card window. You got plenty of space for cards, credit cards, medical cards. You got little nooks and crannies all over the place. You have a nice uh, cash compartment. You have another little outer compartment here. So this is a very traditional wallet. You can fit a lot of crap in here. A wallet like this encourages you to carry a lot of crap that you don't really need to carry. Um, this is used to be my daily carry for years. It's good leather, I tell you that. This is a relic. And this one here is another type of decent little wallet. It's got a cash compartment, plenty of space for credit cards an ID window. This one is RFID blocking. Um, the bad part about, and this one has a little change purse. The bad thing about wallets like this is if you carry cards on the outside and this is a little loaded, this is a little big to carry in your front pocket, you could, but you're going to, if you're sitting on your cards all day, you're going to damage the cards on these out in this outer compartment by sitting on them. You're going to crack the top of the cards. Whatever part of the card is sticking up, and they will stick up, you're going to damage them. So this is a nice wallet, but it damaged a couple of my cards, so I had to stop it. And this one I just carried for years, but it's so it gets so thick because you just throw so much crap in it because it can hold so much that, you know, you look for something a little smaller. So I've been doing my research, and I come across Travex. They came highly rated on Amazon. All their users really enjoy them. So I said, let me just go ahead and give them a try. So let's take a look at this one together, guys. So you'll see it's basically two pieces of metal. That's basically it held together with a like a little cord. And then you have some material in here for your card compartment. And then you have a little material here for uh, your ca uh, for your cash clip. And we, I'm going to show you now how this looks. So I adjusted it down to its lowest setting. And you make the adjustments here. It's very nice how this adjusts. So we're going to go ahead and start off by putting in five cards. I'm going to take five cards and put five cards in for you guys. So you can take a look at how it would look. Now this can this supports 8 to 14 cards. Now I I carry 16 cards in in here on a daily and it's no problem. And you can I can even fit I can even fit a few more in here if I wanted to, but that's about my limit. Now when the more you carry the thicker it's going to get. But even maxed out is still better than carrying something like this maxed out. Okay? So right away you'll see the adjustment is, is too big. So here's how you adjust it to, to fit. What you're going to do is this cord here, you're just going to tug on it. So you're going to bring it down. You're going to take the strap, push it down. That's going to relieve some of the slack. And you're just going to pull that down right here. And that's it. Okay, and then you want to push that up, and if it's too, there you go, and that's it. It doesn't snap, it doesn't click, it just kind of goes right over this little hook here, and it just sit there. And I got to tell you, it works. It does not get in the way, it doesn't open, it stays in my pocket, and when I pull it out, it's, it's still closed. So that's how I look with five cards in it. Um, you see it's sitting up in the back, but that's fine. It's once you put it in your pocket, it's nice and flat, and that's with five cards. So let's go ahead and open it up and let's put some cash in. 
I have four dollar bills. We're gonna put the four dollar bills in. We're just gonna fold them up. I like to do a double fold, but what I like to do is I like to fold over the little clip here. Just like that. And then you just put your cash in and you lock it down. And your cash is secured. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put a few more cards in because I think it looks better when it has more cards in it. Now, you can carry, you know, whatever you want in here, but this is a pricey little minimalist wallet. It's $56, so ideally, I guess you wouldn't want to invest in this if you only got five cards to put in it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. We'll see. So this is how you adjust it to, to get more cards in. This here, this thick stitching is not going to go through here. So it's, that's where it's going to stop at, and it won't go any further. So you just, right now, you just push it through, okay, just like that, and you pull on it, okay? And you keep it smooth because it won't take any, any kinks because it's very thin. It's only going to accept that thin layer of the fabric, and that's good because it's not going to open up on you when you don't want it to. And you just push it through just like that. That's how you make your adjustments. You pull it all the way down, okay, so now... You take your cards out, okay, and look at that. It's opened up real wide now. So let's go ahead and put, I'm going to put all of my cards in here. I'm just going to count real quick. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, 16. So we're going to put 16 cards in here, guys. Now, you're going to have to probably put... You're not going to be able to put the whole wad in, so you'll put half of them in, and then you'll once you get those in, you'll come and you'll put the other. You'll put the other wad in, just like that, and that's your adjustment right there. That little extra the flap, your adjustment flap, you just fold that over, okay? And then here's how it look without cash. Now you're going to have to make some adjustments now because remember we had it adjusted for five cards. So this is all you're going to do. You're going to do it in reverse. You're just going to push the, pull the string up just like that. You're going to pull it up. And now once that's up, you're just going to grab here and pull that back up. That's all you're going to do. And then you're going to bring it over. And now it's, it fits. Now it works. So that's 16 cards. And it's still a decent profile. It's a little thicker than it was, but it's still smaller than this, fully loaded. Trust me. Now, you're going to go ahead and put your cash in. And then you're going to bring it over. And if it's a little tight, that's fine. It'll break in. It, it will definitely work. It'll, it'll, it'll adjust. And just like that, just like that, guys. Now, this is RFID blocking. Um, and I know for a fact that it works really well. This is my proximity card for getting into my job. And if this card is in the back, I just can't put it up and it'll work. Now, if it's in the front, no problem. But if it's in the back, it won't hit. So what I have to do is if I keep this card in the back, which most of the time I do, I usually keep my driver's license in the window here. Um, you got to hold it up like this for it to uh, activate a proximity lock like that. So this is really cool. Uh, a couple of things to note. Um, you have your adjustment straps. You have your people was asking me, what is this for? This can be for like a carabiner clip. You could put a nice carabiner clip here and you could probably clip it to like a chain or something if you want a little security and you can chain it to a belt loop on your pants so you don't lose this if you're going to like an amusement park or something because it is a slightly smaller wallet it's still thick if you put a lot of cards in but if you don't put a lot of cards in this could be thin and you could probably drop it out of your pocket or something if you're on a roller coaster or something so you can use that and also some people are probably skeptical about the locking mechanism but this is so tightly packed even if this was the open cards are not just going to fly out of here I got it tightly packed. So if you make the adjustments properly, you're not going to lose any cards. Even without this uh, close, you're not going to lose any cards. But if you're still paranoid, the carabiner clip is another layer. Your cards aren't going to go past the clip. And then, again, you can still run the carabiner and clip this to your pants or your belt or whatever you want to do. 
All in all, I think this is a nice minimalist wallet. I think it is pricey for what it is. It's basically just two pieces of metal together with a little bit of cloth. It's RFID blocking, but I like it. I think to me it's worth it. To you, it might not be worth $56. I mean, just for an example, this was $25, and this is a really nice men's wallet. This one, I think, was like 12 bucks. Again, this is a nice men's wallet. But this is a different style, a different type of men's wallet. If you're in the market for a nice minimalist wallet, the nice ones you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay for them. And I think this is nice. This is a nice addition to my EDC. Um, let me guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comments. This is also made in the USA. It's nice to buy American whenever you can. I'm not exclusive to buying American, but it's nice whenever you can. If you can buy a nice quality piece of American goods, this is Cooter. I catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching my videos. Like, share, subscribe. I hit you guys with new content every week. So just keep on coming and help us grow.